Hello everyone, welcome to the very first new product post for 2011. Uh, we have some pretty exciting things as you can possibly see here, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got this week. This little contraption is the Eggbot. And basically what it is, is it's an automated, mechanized Easter egg decorator. Um, of course you can decorate other things other than Easter eggs, like a soda can if you want, but um, it's pretty neat. Basically, it uses two stepper motors to rotate and direct the pen back and forth, and then it's also got a servo motor which either raises or lowers the pen onto whatever it is you're drawing on. Um, this actually works with the um, EI bot board that we've been carrying for a little bit now, and that's the brains behind everything. In addition to that and the Inkscape software, which they list on the website, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Load in your designs and put them right onto your soda can or your Easter egg or whatever else. So I don't know about you, but when I think of EL Wire, the first thing I think of is Tron, Burning Man, and Raves. But there are a lot of other cool uses for EL Wire. And finally, we actually have EL Wire in. We've got 10 different colors, we've got an inverter, and we even have a plug-in wall inverter as well. So all of these are designed to connect directly to our um, EL Escudo board and the EL Sequencer board. These come in three meter length, which is about six and a half feet or so. So now that the lights are off, let's just talk about all the different colors we have. Um, right here we only have seven of the ten colors hooked up. Um, we've got it hooked up to an EL Sequencer and the EL Inverter and just a simple LiPo battery in this case and when I hit the button, it will actually cycle through all the different colors. So we've got a pink, we've got a green, we've got a blue, a purple, an orange, this white, which is uncoiled, and a yellow. So, you've had your Arduino for a little while now, you've done the inventor's kit, you've made an LED blink, you've spun some motors, but you want to move on to something a little bit bigger and a little bit more high current. BAM! The high power shield. This allows you to take 12 volts in, control them with MOSFETs, and really you can control some very high current stuff. I think the traces will burn up before the MOSFETs will. Um, basically how this works is you have a computer power supply that you connect into one end, and then after you plug it into your Arduino, like that, now you have PWM pins that you can control 12 volts high current instead of the measly little 5 volts and low current that the Arduino gives you. So it's pretty useful. Um, you can use it with the 12 volt LED uh, RGB strips that we just came out with or the 12 volt light bars that we have or really anything else that is 12 volt that's a lot higher current than the Arduino can handle on its own. So pretty cool and probably somewhat dangerous. So. This was the very first product post of the year, and hopefully it went as well for you as it did for me. Um, so, as always, here are just some of the products that we have. Check out the homepage post and see everything else that we have, and we will see you next week.